Hello, in this video I would like to show you how to a, uh, identify the pin assignments on your inverter and then connect to a, uh, our MS456UB LED uh, drivers. Uh, the sample of the video I'm going to show you is based on this a um, yellow touch 19 screen. The model number is ET1928L. Um, so I already removed some screw already. So basically we're just going to take it out. The back covers. Alright. And uh, we're going to Remove this chassis. I already took out some screws just to save time in the video. Okay, so this model is using a 19 inch LG Philips screen LM190E08TLG1. We do have a instruction uh, show you how to upgrade a this CCFL to our to our uh, uh, UB70 series LED light online on on our on our tech support page. So if Next would be the other video that you can watch it. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, I, I identify the pin assignments. Let's set it aside. Okay. So we're going to flip over. So immediately we identify a uh, the inverters here. This is called standalone inverters. This is a, a main module and the power supply. And this, I mean, this is the main lo logic board, the power supply. This is a uh, touch screen controllers. So it's here. Um, the easiest way to identify a pin assignment would be uh, using a multimeter. Uh, basically, an all inverter have four basic uh, functions uh, or, or four basic pin assignments, which is uh, uh, VIN is input power, and uh, GND is power ground, and besides that, they have uh, ENA, which is turn the inverter on and off. And most of the industrial display, they, they don't have an ADJ, which is to adjust the brightness controls. So basically, you need to look for um, all this four. GND is quite easy. It's always a guang, power guang. You can connect to you know, any point of the power chassis, uh, the metal chassis. VIN is just using set your meter on the DC voltage meter. And you just identify all this voltage. Uh, VIN usually uh, typically will be 12 volt DC. So ENA anywhere between 2 to 5 volts on that pin can turn the inverter on and off. ADJ it depends. If you're using a negative control like most of industrial display, and but that will be zero. So that we don't have to worry about. So in order to fire up this LED driver, all we need to identify is basically it's three. Guang, we already know that. VIN, we use more, more voltage meter to identify. And then ENA do the same thing too. So let's we're gonna show. Now um, we're gonna try to uh, we had to ident we're gonna try to use a meter to identify pin assignment. Before we do that, I have took out this. Uh, we need to turn this chassis on. We took out this um, the key assembly from here and connect to a uh, controller board. And then next thing we need to do, we need to apply VGA signal. Uh, the reason we do this because be sure this unit's been turned on. It's not in the south power saving mode when you make sure you know the voltage. So I put it in, and then we're gonna connect the powers to this 19-inch um, yellow touch. So okay, connect the power. Now we need to measure all these pins. Uh, you can easily just get a piece of paper and then before you do the measurements and we cut all this. And right now we're gonna set it on the DC voltage, DC wrench, okay, and you can connect a, uh, the black pole, the black pole to any metal chassis, because that's ground, and then there's a power switch you're going to fire up, okay, then we're going to measure it, from here, pin 1, 12.5 volt, I'm not sure you can see it or not, so, okay, so this is the VIN, 1, pin 2, 12.5 VIN pin 3 it's uh, 3.2 we are not sure it's ENA or ADJ at this point we continue measure it pin 4 0 volt pin 5 0 volt pin 6 0 volt as I said before most of this industrial display is using a negative control which just means that then when the ADJ is zero it's on the max brightness or some of them they don't even have a ADJ at all so again first pin 
12 volt, pin 2, 12 volt, pin 3, 3.2. So according to our measurement, we know P1, P2 is VIN, input voltage, P3, 3.0 volt is enabled. Okay, so then let's shut off the all this 4, 5, 6 for what? What for what? What is it for? We are not sure yet. So let's confirm by using on the set on the resistance range and measure between chassis to one of these pins, okay, to find the GDN power ground. So we're gonna shut it off and then disconnect the power. You can leave it this on again, set it to so be inside. So one, two, we know the VIN, three is EN enable four, nothing, five, guang, six is guang. So five and six is guang, I will say pin four, you be the ADJ, you can just leave it as is, don't connect it in, because our controller is also using a negative control too, okay?